Hey, and welcome back to Beer Babies, the podcast journey where we try to find the best beer money can buy. I'm your host, and my name's Will, and joining me today, back on the podcast, it's Declan. Hey, how's it going? Really good to have you here, Declan, and you don't like a lot of beers, do you? No, I don't. I should have met, led with that. Yeah. Uh, you, sh- you should have led with the intro we do every single time. You didn't even say you... What, how many beers do you like? I like some beers, but today we're, we're joined by someone who very rarely drinks beers, and that's Jack Quigley. Hey, Jack, how's it going? Yeah, hey, it's pretty good. It's good to be here again. It's great to have you back on the podcast. Now, some people <coughs> may not know, we've actually had Jack on before, but that was back in the dark days of season one. So if you're um, brave enough, you can go back and check us out. But um, we're, we've got Jack back for our special gluten-free um, extravaganza. And this is the first time on tape and yeah. video, so you better see his face. That's it. His, well, yeah. Exactly. So this is premium content right here. People are getting the visual and all. <laughs> um, but Jack, so you don't normally drink a lot of beers, do you? No, not normally. What's yeah. your What's your normal? What's your poison, mate? My poison. I like cider. Mm. Yeah, summer's beer is definitely my favourite. Yeah, he's big. A little bit sweet for some people, but I love it. Beautiful. Yeah, well, that's and a the hard seltzer. <laughs> yeah, and the hard seltzers as well. Been getting them recently too. Yeah, they they go down a treat. They They're sure really do. Because you you are a sweet boy, so you like the, <laughs> the sweeter things. Um, I I very much doubt that what I've brought today is going to be particularly sweet. Yeah. Um, so we've brought Jack along. We thought we'd get a bunch of gluten free beers, but I'm I'm thinking to myself, Jack. What like why are we buying all this gluten free shit? What's going on? Yeah, because I have celiac disease, mm. so I can't eat gluten. That and yeah, that's that's rough stuff. Um, which I know <laughs> because I have been looking up a little bit about celiac because I figure um, it's not something that everybody knows heaps about. I myself just changing the focus on the camera because it's f- focusing on a weird black smudge in the background. But uh, back on the old money maker. Um, so you never uh, know, leave in the down in the comments below if you prefer the smudge or worse face. Yeah, exactly. I would love to know. So uh, I've got a gluten free beer here um, for us to try. This is the Wild Beer Pale Ale. Um, but um, while Declan pours that one out, I thought I'd actually give you guys a little bit of information on celiac me. disease. And feel free to correct me, Jack, if I got any of this wrong. But I actually uh, got this from the Celiac Australia website. Um, so. Uh, in people with celiac disease, the immune system reacts abnormally to gluten, uh, which is a protein that's found in wheat, rye, barley, and oats, and it causes damage to the small bowel. Um, the tiny finger-like projections which line your bowel, which are called villi, become inflamed and then flattened. <clears throat> this is referred to as villous atrophy. Villous atrophy reduces the... Cert- You've gone all right with that beer, <laughs> Declan? Declan is no. struggling. Um, this is called villous atrophy, um, and that reduces the surface area of the bowel available for nutrient absorption, which can lead to various gastrointestinal uh, issues. Um, symptoms can also be caused by chronic inflammation in other parts of the body. So That was perfect. That was a perfect description. You ex- well, yeah. you were expecting to have the beer by now, though. Ex- you? <laughs> you, you, would, you would want it to be pretty good coming from uh, Celiac Australia. I yeah, think they, I so. they, they probably um, are somewhat of an authority in the air. Do you guys want to chuck that over here oh, and absolutely. I'll open it up? So, again, if you are new to the podcast, you probably haven't met our terrible um, beer opener. That was two years ago I got that one, surely. Or a year ago. That's you got it first show. time, everybody. <laughs> all right. So, <clears throat> so Declan, uh, now that you got that open first go um, and straight away, did you want to know a little bit about wild beer? I'd love to. So, wild beer is made from 100, 100% pure white sorghum grain. That means that it's gluten-free. And it's non-GMO. GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organisms. Um, which they try to stay away from. Um, only the best water goes into their bevies. Um, it's purified by reverse osmosis and then filtered through a granular activated carbon um, so that removes anything in the water. Um, and this beer is actually um, endorsed by Celiac Australia, who I 
what I was talking about before. I wanted to check that these guys were legit, you know? If 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 I one day want to be endorsed um, by a celiac organization, I want to make sure it's the best one. And these guys seem pretty good. Um, their membership price is quite reasonable. Um, they have a lot of <laughs> they have a lot of useful information on their website. To be honest, I think their website could use maybe a little bit of an update. Uh, stylistically, it was a little bit I don't know late teens. Uh, it could um could use a facelift, but otherwise the the resources and the content is very good, um, if not quite up to my style. Yeah. Um, speaking of style, Declan, I know you love the style of beer pale ale, which this one is, and uh, what do you think? It's kind of lack, lacking on the flavour, I reckon. Okay. Yeah. What do, um, you, what do you think? I think um, it definitely doesn't have that sort of fruity accent you sometimes get with a pale ale. It's it's pretty. It, it's pretty uh, basic. Yeah, I want to. It's I wa- pretty basic. I want to say washed out. I feel like maybe yeah. they filtered it a little too heavy. It, it tastes a little bit. It tastes like they've sort of run. Um, yeah, some clean water through it, like it is beer very flavors. clear as well. Yeah, super duper clear. What alcohol percentage is the beer? Uh, I can't one. remember. One, one standard drink. Okay, but that's not percentage. Oh. It's uh, 3.5%. So it's not a very strong so it's, beer. It's a light beer. Yeah, yeah so it's uh, that I believe that would be classed as a mid-strength um, here in Australia. But yeah, not particularly strong in the old alcohol department or flavor department. Jack, what do you mm. think? Yeah, no, I completely agree with what you guys are saying. It's 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 hard to say it tastes bad when it doesn't really taste like much yeah. at all. Um, but, you know, on a nice summer's day... Mm. I was about to say the exact same thing. Refreshing. I was, I was yeah. going to say exactly that because sometimes with your, like your craft beers, your pale ales, uh, they've got a really strong flavor profile, uh, which can be a bit much. I feel like as far as drinkability... This will go down pretty easy. Very. I can picture Jack finish, finishing mowing the lawn on summer afternoon. His dog's been chasing around, you know, running around the yard and just cracks one open, sweat off his brow, chugs it down. Knocks it back, ice That's cold. That's exactly what this I was is, thinking. This would be, yeah, a good ice cold beer, mm. I reckon. Mm. Now, when we when you say, let's have some beers with the boys, you can actually have, like, a actually beer. actually have beers with the boys. You can. And um, this one was pretty reasonably priced. Um uh, I can't remember what it was for a six pack, but I think because uh, I only bought one, um, not thinking that I would uh, enjoy it. Get too stuck into it later on. I think it was only like three or four bucks for for a single one, which is it's more expensive. I mean, that's cheaper than the ones I got. You don't. <laughs> now we're talking. Mm. Um, so, uh, Jack, just uh, if you if you were going to get stuck into a gluten free beer. Um, what do you think of this one? Because you you said you're normally a, a cider guy. Have yeah. you had much in the way of gluten-free beers? I've been trying them on and off recently. Um, when I was younger, when they first started brewing gluten-free beers, mum brought one home mm. and I tried it and it was disgusting. It yeah. was really, really bad. And since then, I haven't really been keen to go back to it. But mm-hmm. since having the opportunity to come on the Beer Babies podcast, I thought it might be time to start cracking into some. Mm. And yeah, I like it. It's yeah, It's definitely drinkable. Um, if I was to give it a score out of six, mm-hmm. I'd probably give it a four, strong four. Okay, strong yeah, four. that's yeah. that's a that's a pretty pretty decent rating on the old six pack test. So, Jack, if you had a six pack of the wild beer, um, how many do you reckon you would have? I just liked to uh, just heard that Jack we changed his life. Yeah, coming he's... on this podcast <laughs> changed his life. Honestly, I really think we've been hearing it more and more that beer babies is having like wider ramifications in the world. Um, and it, it's really good to hear about like the human impact of exactly. Beer Babies podcast. Yeah. But we're still such down to earth people, you know. Yeah. We haven't like get to our heads. Yeah. Um, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Um, I give this two. Two. Two, two out of six. Two out of six. That's that's pretty. That's pretty good for you. Um, not bad. I actually. think it's just very easy drinking. There's not a lot of. It's just very plain. I think mm. maybe that's what's doing it for me. But I'm just. I'm. I'm so inconsistent with this. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think the um, I think the low alcohol too is making it super it like, yeah. There's nothing to it. There's mm. nothing to it, and I really think um, I don't know. I suppose if if this didn't have the like asterisks of being a gluten free beer, I think that the nothingness of this would uh, be a detractor. Uh, but I suppose 
Um, like you were saying, Jack, in the past mm. you've had the gluten-free beers that have really t- like been quite bad and put you yeah. off them. Whereas I think this is it's just doing it's just enough. It's sort of it's just getting by. And I think um, yeah. So if this wasn't gluten-free beer, I think I'd rate this quite lowly. Um, but I think this one's sort of straight down the middle for me. Um, and I reckon I'd give this one a three out of six. Ooh. Respectable. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So it, it just enough, but um, it, it hasn't blown my socks off. Yeah. But um, I suppose uh, the only the only thing we can do is we can we can put this up against other gluten free beers, which is what we'll be looking to do now. So we'll, what we're actually doing is Declan and I have gone out and we've got a couple different gluten free beers because we want to find out what the best gluten free beer is that okay? money can buy. Exactly. And so we we've done an an exhaustive um search. And we've bought what we think will be the best gluten-free beers. Um, and at the end of this, maybe we'll be able to tell you. So uh, make sure you tune in to the next couple episodes because this is going to be our gluten-free special Mark II. Because <laughs> we um, that people are with... going to watch. Exactly. Yeah. Or listen so, to. So thank you guys very much for coming along. Jack, it's great to have you. Yeah, it's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. Pleasure to be here. Spot, Sorry, yeah. I was looking at the wild beer logo. It's yeah. very simple, effective. Yeah, that's it. And I think that is... That is um, it was the first thing that caught my eyes. It's just, um, it's quite simple, quite neat, quite clean. Deck, you want to put it up to your camera light's probably better. Um, yeah, it's uh, just enough is how I would describe um, the wild beer. Just enough. So, anyway, it's been been real. If you want more of this shit, we got more stuff you can check out. Just watch the next video. Um, yeah, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. See ya.